CataractCoach.com. Severe zonular loss fixed with a Sioni ring. Learn from this successful case of a very challenging situation. Now look how subluxed that lens is. Tremendously subluxed. You can see even though the pupil doesn't have the best dilation, you can still see the edge of the lens, the lens equator. So now surge is making a little flap here, and under that flap, probably going to suture in the Sioni ring here. So there we go, making an incision here, putting some anesthetic in the eye. Here's another incision. So that looks good. And now getting a rexus done. Now remember, center up the rexus on the lens, not in the pupil, because the lens is very subluxed. Sometimes it's helpful here to, after you start the rexus, to put a capsule hook in to help support that capsule bag. So you want to make sure you have an intact rectus here so you can get that Sioni ring in the bag. So a little higher dissection. The lens is very soft, bringing that up out of the capsule bag. That can be aspirated just with the IA probe. So it's obviously a very young patient with severe subluxation there. And that comes out nice and easy. Be careful. The capsule bag is very floppy. I uh, like the idea of viscoelastic. so smart. Because the capsule bag will just come up and you'll get a lot of vitreous prolapse too. So here you want to use plenty of viscoelastic here. Now filling up the capsule bag, there's the round rexus. Here's the Sioni ring. Again, that's a CTR capture tension ring with an extra eyelet on it to allow for suture fixation here. And that eyelet goes above the capsular rim. So threading it first with a 10 proline here, and that's going to be uh, helpful to maintain positioning and also provide some support here. So once that's sutured on there, there you go, nicely done. Now, threading in the Sioni ring inside the eye. So here it comes. And you may want to use two hands. Get a hand inside the eye to allow that Sioni ring to go around the capsule bag equator without putting too much stress on it. You can easily puncture the capsule bag, which you don't want to do. So using a second hand in the eye like a, a, a hook can be very helpful. And so now it looks like a, a, an iris hook or capsule hook being used. And that's going to help support the capsular rexus edge here. So I like that idea. These look like iris hooks. There are available also capsular hooks, which are a little bit more gentle on this. They're angling a little bit differently, and they have a, a broader area of support under the capsule rim. So nice and easy, advancing that around, taking your time. Good, good, good. And you can see there's a little bit of stress on the bag. Look how, look what's happening in that rexus edge. you got to be careful not to damage it. So here comes the sonar and getting it inside the eye. Here's where you want to use a Sinsky hook to that other incision and just kind of grab it and gently dial it in the bag. And so here it goes in nice and easy, nice and easy. And you want that Sioni ring, the ring part, to end up in the area of zonular weakness there. So you can provide the most support here. So there it is with the Sinsky hook. Smart move. I like it. Pulling it in nice and easy. Plenty of viscoelastic here if you need it. Put it. And getting that. And there you go. Get it under that rexus edge. And then slowly, gently, gently release it. There it is. Did that go in all the way? Mmm. It did. Very nicely done. So now you can get rid of those two hooks. There we go. Take those out. And now you're going to pass a needle with the other end of that 10-0 suture material on it. So that'll be a 10-0 proline. And so there you go. Now the 10-0 should last very well. And the smart move here, the surgeon is hiding it underneath that scleral flap. So using a, a hollow bore needle to help guide it. And so now passing that through that same incision. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle back and forth to make sure you're cleanly in the incision and not getting any snag any tissue. And now in dock it inside the hollow bore and push it out of the eye and then get the appropriate tension. So pull through, pull through. Now trick here, don't cut the needle off. You're going to need that needle to actually tack it down and suture it to the sclera. And so will this 10 proline hold up over time? It pretty much should. It, again, depends on the age of the patient, et cetera. There are other options. You can use larger ones through like a belt loop type thing, uh, a bigger proline, like a 6 proline, and do a belt loop. Or you can also use Gore-Tex material. A lot of options here. And so tying that up, good-looking tension, not, not too much tension, just enough. So bring it over a little bit more. You can see that Sioni ring is right. That's where the capsule bag equator is, the edge of it. There you go. Now look like magic how the eye... It looks fantastic now, and the capture bag is centered. Here comes the lens. looks like a single-piece acrylic lens going in the capture bag. And certainly now with the Sioni ring fixating the bag, you can put this, it looks like a technus lens, inside the capture bag. Nice and easy, dialing that into position. This is a tough case. Beautifully handled. Wow, fantastic job. Now locking the suture. Remember, you kept that needle on for a reason. You got to tie that suture down and get it locked in. And so when it's done... Case looks fantastic, beautifully centered lens.
Post-op result was also fantastic for this patient. So great post-op result. Beautiful case. Thanks for sharing.